Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to test REST web services with Catalon Studio and we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see a practical example of how to test a REST web service. We will also see how to add REST web service request, how to add the request in test case, how to add keywords and validations in our test case and how to validate a particular value in the REST response and you can follow this on Windows as well as on Mac operating system. So let's get started and I will open my Catalon Studio and you can see this is the project that we have been creating and here now I am going to add a REST request. So I am going to add a REST web service and of course you can see I can go to help and I can go to quick start and I can select from here or I can directly go to the object repository and then I can add my REST web service here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a sample web service and I'm going to go to this website reqres.in. Let me also make these links available here in the notes. So you can get all these links in the notes and here you can see there are some sample uh, APIs that you can use for testing and if you go, go down you can see you have a lot of APIs. We have get request post, put, delete and so on. So let me see a very simple request. So I'm going to take the first one list users. So I will copy this URL, go to a new tab and paste it here. And then I will copy this endpoint of the request and append to this URL. And if I hit enter, it should give me the list of users. So you can see it has given me this users list and this is a JSON which is not very well formatted. I can go to any online JSON viewer or JSON uh, beautifier and you can look at there. So let me just go here. And here I will put my JSON. So I'll put it here and I will say beautify and you can see this is our actual response. So we get a list of users, the details of users. So you can see this is user one, then we have user two and so on. We have different users here that get listed on invoking this API. So I'm going to take this URL and go to my Catalon Studio and inside the object repository, I will first add a new folder as a good practice I should always add the all these web services in a separate folder so I will say this is user rest service and say ok and inside the folder I will again do a right click and new web service request and the name is list users this is restful this is the URL and you can add some description which is optional and say ok and you can see we have got our request here and there is also one parameter which is page and value is 2 so here you can see all the query parameters then authorization if you have any authorization you can add it as of now in this API there is no authorization required HTTP headers we can add here but in this case we do not have HTTP headers as well uh, this is a get so there is no body and you can see get method does not require body content uh, we have verification that we will see in a moment and variables. So for now, let me just quickly run this and check the output. I will hit this run button, play button and let me see the output. And yes, you can see we are getting the response here. You can see the headers. You can see the verification log. Verification log is empty because we have not added any verifications. And you can see the raw preview pretty. And here you can see XML, HTML, JavaScript and JSON. So this is working fine. Now uh, let me very quickly add some verification. I will click here on verification tab and you can see we have these snippets. So the very first verification I will add is check status code is 200. So this snippet I will click here and it has added this uh, groovy statement here to assert that status code is equals 200 and then I can also add more verifications uh, for now let me just check this and to run this request along with verification points I will use this test request and verify and let me see the output now 
so yes this is running the request we have got the output and now if I go to verification log you can see we have got the verification logs and everything is passed now we also want to verify some particular value for example I want to check uh, for user 2 the first name is Charles now for that you can use something like uh, we have this snippet response body JSON value check so I will click here and you can see we have got this groovy statement here which is using the keyword verify element property value I will also show you how to use this in test but for now I am just using it in verification of the within the request so verify element property value this is the variable that is storing the response and then here we have to give the location of our parameter or value so for finding that uh, you can copy this entire message or JSON response and then go to your browser and search for JSON Pathfinder now here you can go to this link jsonpathfinder.com and then there is also a chrome plugin so if you go here on chrome web store you will find this chrome plugin for JSON Pathfinder and here you can see this is the plugin that you can add in my case it is already added and here is the plugin icon you can see this question mark this is JSON Pathfinder which is added to Chrome click here it will open a new tab with JSON Pathfinder window I can add my JSON message here and here I have to add the node that I want to find now this is first name I will copy this and add it here and select JSON path and submit now if you go down you can see it has given us all the instances of first name in the JSON path so it is present three times and this is the path for each of the instance now we are interested in the second one which is this one so I can take this data and one the first instance or this is the first index so it starts from zero so this is actually the second instance of data and from there I have to take out first name so you can see that in the response message also you can see under data we have these three sections or three arrays and this is the second one that we are interested in so I will copy this and go to my catalog studio and here I will just change the value or change the location I will say this I want and then the value I want to check is Charles also you can do the same thing from here this URL jsonpathfinder.com you can just add your entire JSON message or response I'm comping it from here and add it here and then just click on where what you want to find so I will click on Charles and here let me just see again uh, this is what I want so let me just uh, invoke it again this URL so here I have to enter my JSON select an item to view its path and then replace X with the name of your variable so the same thing I am doing here I am adding my JSON and then I will click on okay yeah it is giving me here so you can see it has given me this and I want this right so this is what I can take it from here as well so this is the same thing that we have seen here the path is this one data one and first name so I will add it here and then I can run this to verify test request and verify and let us see the output now and yes it is fine if I go to verification log you can see everything is passed and it is able to verify element property value now we have to add this into our 
test case so for that let me just go here and here let me open this again yeah it is here so here I want to add this to a test case now I will go to the test cases I can click here on this plus icon and I can say add to new test case or add to existing test case I will just say add to new test case and here I will say the new test case name is list users test and say ok and you can see it has added here this is a new test case it has already taken the keyword send request it has already taken the object which is list users and that's it of course if you want to add it manually you can always go to add web service keyword and select the keyword from here from this drop down for example this is send request and then the object is our request or the service so you can select it from here or just drag and drop it here so both ways you can do that I will just delete this extra statement and yes this is our in our test we are just running this request now and if I run this test let me just run this test and verify so this is running the test and here is the logs let me see the logs here yes everything is okay and now I can also use another keyword so I will go to add web service keyword and click on the drop down and then we have a keyword send request and verify so this keyword will run the request and also run the verification statements that we have added within our request so again I will use list users now here I can also get the response into a variable so I am saying response here any variable name you can use here and if I go to the script view you can see this is how it looks like so the first statement we are just using send request keyword in the second step we are saying send request and verify and we are storing the response in a variable called response let us run this again and see the output if I go to the log viewer you can see the logs here and this is running all our steps and everything is successful and everything is passed you can see all the steps are passed in case you get any error you can troubleshoot it here or you can also go to the console view to check the errors now here we have uh, run our steps now what we are going to do is we are going to add a checkpoint or verification point so I am going to use the keyword verify element property value this is the same thing that we have done within our request now I'm showing you how to do this in a test case so this is the keyword verify element property value and in the input column if you double click here we have to first give the response so here we have stored our response in a variable called response so I'm providing this here and then we have to give the locator so this is the same locator that we have used earlier I can just get this from here and use it here and then the name Charles so this is how it will look like if I go to the script view you can see this is how it will look like and this is actually the same what we have used within our test request verification and here now let me also add another verification so I am going to add another statement here and this time I'm going to verify the ID so let me check ID again ID has three instances I'm going to take this one and the value should be six so I'm going to take this one and the value I'm going to check for is six here and let me see the manual view and in the manual view you can see the same thing the same step has added here I will run this and let us look at the logs so until now this is running fine it is send request is successful and then step number two is fine step number three and four all are running fine and you can see everything is passed so you can also expand and 
see all the details here and you can see everything is okay so this is how you can uh, run your rest request and test your rest web services in catalon studio there is more we will look into more details of rest web services testing with catalon studio in the coming session i hope this session was very useful thank you for watching